Hello everyone, my name is Anne, and today I'm going to talk about Rolosephine, also known as Avista. A little bit about patient counseling points. Rolosephine is used to put off and treat soft, brittle bones in women, also known as osteoporosis. It is used to help prevent breast cancer in women. Patient can take rolosephine any time of the day without regard to meals. Patient should be instructed to take supplemental calcium or vitamin D while on rolosephine. There are few common side effects of rolosephine such as sweating, headache, nausea, abdominal pain, diarrhea, muscle pain, and also trouble sleeping. A little bit about rolosephine. It belongs to the selective estrogen receptor modulator. Selective estrogen receptor modulators particularly are now being used as a treatment for breast cancer, osteoporosis, and postmenopausal symptoms as these drugs had features that can act as an estrogen agonist and an antagonist depending on the target tissue. So how does rolosephine work? Rolosephine is an estrogen agonist and antagonist as we know from previous slide. The binding of rolosephine results in activation of estrogenic pathways in some tissues and block it of estrogenic pathways in the others. Rolosephine acts like an estrogen agonist in the bone to prevent bone loss. It decreases bone resorption and bone turnover, increases bone mineral density, and decreases fracture incidence. Rolosephine has estrogen antagonist activity to block some estrogen effects in the breast and uterine tissues. For dosage and formulation, rolosephine comes in 60 mg oral tablet for a patient with osteoporosis and to reduce the postmenopausal fracture risk, the dose will be 60 mg once daily. And to reduce the risk for invasive breast cancer in postmenopausal females, the dose will be 60 mg once daily. A little bit about dose adjustment. There is no renal and hepatic dose adjustment necessary in adult patients. However, we should be paying attention to patients who have moderate or severe renal impairment in which their creatinine clearance is less than 50. There are some important warnings and precautions of rolosephine. There are high chances that patients taking rolosephine will have deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. Women with active or past history of VTE should not take rolosephine. Rolosephine increased risk of death due to stroke occur in a trial in postmenopausal women with documented coronary heart disease or increased risk for major coronary events. Due to the fact that rolosephine may cause fetal harm, rolosephine hydrochloride tablets should not be used in women who are or may become pregnant. For monitoring parameters, women who are on rolosephine should have their liquid profile checked due to the risk of hypertriglyceridemia. Mammogram and breast exam are also important. Because of the risk of having low bone density, serial bone mineral density should be evaluated at baseline and every one to three years. It's very important that we assess for any signs of thromboembolic events with patients who are on velocity. And that's it for my presentation. Thank you.